Hello guys, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, from past few days, I've been seeing a lot of comments uh, from many, many of my subscribers saying that Krish, can you probably talk about a proper roadmap, you know, uh, where like what roadmap we should specifically follow to crack a different, different roles specifically in the data analytics industry. And obviously, I've been making Udemy courses. They also want to know like what order of the courses that we really need to follow. Okay, so that we will be able to crack those kind of jobs. And this is specifically for that particular question. I'm actually making this particular video. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end because here the kind of roadmap that I'm actually discussing will probably cover every every kind of jobs interviews that you're specifically are attending, whether you're a fresher, whether you're an experienced person or whether you are in lateral entry. Let's say you're an experienced person. You want to switch from one domain to the other domain like one technology to the other technology, you can definitely follow this complete roadmap. Okay, so let me just go ahead and share my screen. So here exactly this roadmap I've actually defined. See, uh, to get into the data analytics industry, our main aim is basically to get into the data analytics industry, right? So data analytics industry. Now in a data analytics industry, you may be working as a different, different roles. So the first role I can probably talk about is like data analyst, right data analyst you may be looking to become a data scientist right data scientist then you may be planning to become a big data engineer right so you are actually targeting to become a big data engineer uh, along with this let's say the fourth one that you specifically want to become uh, may be a business analyst okay business analyst then the fifth role that you really want to become is like a machine learning engineer. Okay. Machine learning engineer. The sixth role that you may be targeting is like an NLP engineer. Right. So NLP engineer is also one more role. And I'll just go ahead and write this once again. So sixth is nothing but NLP engineer. Right. The seventh role that you may be targeting is specifically in computer vision, right? Computer vision and all, right? So this many different, different roles I have actually written, right? And I, I have seen almost each and every role I have worked in the industry in all these specific roles, you know, and right now the kind of courses that I'm actually trying to develop in Udemy will be catering all the specific roles itself, right? You will be able to crack job interviews, the kind of content that I'm developing for Udemy is specifically for that particular purpose. Now for all these specific roles, I have actually designed a proper roadmap based on my Udemy code structure, and that will actually help you understand that what kind of courses I'm actually targeting in the future and what courses are currently going to come up right so uh, first of all in order to crack any of the specific role uh, mostly technical I'm not considering business analyst right now but all the other technical uh, roles over here Python is definitely must okay so Python one programming language you may be thinking Krish why I did not take R I really wanted to target Python because Python is really diverse you know it it has a lot of importance everywhere, right? Everywhere it has a specific importance. And um, with respect to Python, I have uploaded free course content videos, even in my YouTube channel. If you're not able to afford Udemy courses, definitely go ahead with this. But along with Python, what we have done is that we have added DSA, okay, data structures and algorithm. The reason is very simple so that any product based interviews, product based interviews, because this is what actually happens and nowadays even in service based you know they specifically ask question related to dsa first round okay first first or two rounds maximum couple of rounds you definitely require the knowledge of python with dsa and this was one of the most requested course by many many people and finally we had launched this just recently 10 days back and the response is 
quite phenomenal more than 4000 plus people have actually taken this particular course amazing feedback 4.8 rating you know because we have covered everything that is related to dsa and how you can implement with the help of python now you may be thinking krish why not dsa with c plus plus why not dsa with uh, java see guys python is becoming so much popular because uh, so it won't matter now whether you go ahead with the coding interviews around with python or any other programming language okay so i would suggest again uh, since we are focusing more into the data analytics path python with dsa was my first aim so this one we have actually launched already and now coming to the next step now coming to the next step before going to the big data engineering okay let's say you're not targeting big data engineering right now okay so let's say after learning python with dsa your target is in this three okay i've seen most of the people target basically on this three specific roles okay uh whether you want to become a data analyst okay whether you want to become a data scientist or whether you want to become a computer vision engineer now when i'm saying with respect to data scientist uh, here also uh, ml machine learning is common for both computer vision side right? so let me go ahead and write over here so here also you need to know ml dl okay nlp uh, i have covered it extensively over here and ml nlp is not considered over here so when i'm talking with respect to data scientist this specification is having experience in nlp whereas in this role it is specifically having experience in cv that is computer vision so anything that is related to computer vision is probably coming over here so your target with respect to various job uh, roles or industries what i've seen in maximum number of people they either target nlp or computer vision and many of the people also stays and works in the machine learning projects right so this three roles are specifically targeted after that so you can probably let's say that you're coming from a non technical background you can target data analyst right now in data analyst what all things you really need to know you need to know stats you need to probably know um power bi sql right sql you need to probably know snowflake okay snowflake you need to know about tableau this may be different different reporting tools right stats is also included i've also included sql power bi everything specifically if i talk about eda is also needs to be included python needs to be included so uh, if you are probably coming from a non technical background then this is the role that you can specifically target uh, the best part with respect to data analyst is that any domain work you can definitely do a lot of work in with terms with respect to data analyst and you can create some amazing reports provided to the stakeholders and all so for this also we have come up with this specific course last month itself and in this all we have also covered it currently the recording of tableau is going on and only these two modules are left uh, tableau i think 7 hours of content is already uploaded after completing this we'll also be uploading snowflake other than that python eda stats power bi sql everything is basically getting added okay and as we go ahead we'll go ahead and add more end to end projects so that your learning will be amazing okay then let's say that you're already coming from a technical background you may not be only be interested to become a data analyst you may be also interested to become a data scientist so the first course that i would suggest is nothing but ml dl nlp okay and it's not like that you have to pro <laughs> always take the udemy courses no in youtube also i have created dedicated playlist for machine learning for deep learning for nlp if you have money constraint then please go ahead and check it out right but since many people were requesting krish what should be your order of udemy courses that you really need to follow so that is the reason i'm actually discussing about so in uh, if you're targeting data scientist with respect to nlp i have come up with this amazing course wherein we will be discussing about machine learning deep learning nlp uh, completely and this is like more than 90 plus hours of course okay we have completed this and it's quite amazing more than 4000 4000 ratings we have got and the average rating is 4.7 just imagine and this is probably the best course i have made till now because everything from mathematical intuition to practical implementation everything is discussed over here okay so uh, this was the second course that we will be uh, targeting if you need to target if you really want to become a data scientist and all okay so here if i probably go ahead and show you so this is the first course complete python with dsa bootcamp plus lead code exercises uh the second course uh, that uh, you can probably target is either data analyst or machine learning bootcamp okay machine learning bootcamp now let me go back again over here now before uh, once i launched this particular course right many people who were from non technical background they also wanted to target data science and and any technical people also they really want to revise all the mathematical things so what i did is that after launching this course i also came up with a separate maths course 
okay maths course uh, which includes linear algebra which includes uh, you know differential calculus which includes stats and that is a very good course to get a uh, prerequisite understanding of all the maths that we are discussing in this specific course so if you probably go in the same order that is given in the description of this particular video the second link is actually for mathematics basic to advanced for data science and gen AI and here also you can see what uh, amazing ratings people have actually given because here I have covered each and everything with respect to stats and all okay so this is just a prerequisite to probably start with and this is all somewhere around 23 hours of content which is quite amazing and a lot of good feedbacks that I've actually get okay now in the future many people are also waiting for the computer vision course it will probably take one month of time right now so i'm also preparing this computer vision course wherein we'll focus on object detection we'll focus on a lot of end-to-end -end projects so this is my next upcoming courses within one month i think i should be able to bring this in november first week i guess okay that is the current target i'm not sure whether that will be possible or not but i've started already working on this okay now uh, the next thing after this when you have decided hey i want to become a data analyst i want to probably work as a data scientist in nlp or computer vision then the next target is our next one which is basically called as mlops mlops focuses more on deployments deployments creating end-to-end -end projects end-to-end -end projects and in order to manage this end-to-end -end projects what all mlops tools we will be specifically using okay we will be specifically using this all we actually cover in this particular course and this course um, we will be coming up soon on october 15th that is the target and this is completely getting recorded by me i'm going to take different different machine learning nlp projects we'll be discussing about various mlops tools like um, if i probably say ml flow if i say bento ml right uh, along with MLflow, Bento ML, I also have some plans to cover DVC, DAGs Hub, right? Then you'll be covering Airflow, right? These all are some good MLOps tools. Airflow, then I think you also have this Grafana. So I will be covering all these things. Initially, we'll discuss about all these things and then we'll develop all these end-to-end -end projects by using all these tools. Already 16 hours, 17 hours of content is already recorded and I am putting a lot of effort in preparing this specific course, okay? Uh, so this will be my next target, which will be there in October 15. Once you cover this, uh, then the next uh, course in the roadmap is about generative AI in NLP and generative AI CV. Generative AI in NLP, I have already launched this course okay i've launched it this will be launched in the november end month okay because i'm also trying to bring uh, a lot of fine tuning techniques and all advanced fine tuning techniques so this is the complete roadmap of my udemy courses now let me go back again to the courses so initially you need to if you are a starter if you really want to focus on uh, starting like you you have taken the next six seven months right you want to probably go ahead and prepare for this so this is the first course that you really need to target uh, complete python with dsa bootcamp then you have mathematics basic to advanced for data science and gen ai and then you have this complete data analyst bootcamp from basic to advanced otherwise you go ahead and target complete machine learning and lp bootcamps mlops and deployment so here also you can see 91.5 hours of content 5000 plus ratings 4.67 is the uh, <laughs> the rating over here which i can also see in my dashboard then after you cover this uh, as i said computer vision you have to wait for one month that will be coming up soon and then you have this complete generative ai course with langchain and hugging face this is specifically with respect to llms nlp task and all so i have created this amazing project so this has also become a bestseller it has 4.7 ratings and trust me many many people daily write a lot of messages many people are able to get jobs and all and finally i have also created one project which is like building gen ai app 12 plus hands-on projects with gemini pro okay now this is just a clear idea about the order and in this order only i'll be providing you all the information in the description in the video uh, again guys uh, i'm not specifically doing something you know over here uh, like I'm, I'm not i'm not uh, just targeting you to tell to just go ahead and buy this course these courses are mostly affordable like this kind of courses like 399 rupees courses with so much of effort that i've actually put in developing this particular courses you will love it you'll never never regret it trust me try it out and see what roadmap you really want to follow before going ahead and taking up this particular courses along with this i have if you go to krishnaik.in i have already 
started taking a lot of live classes which is completely for free for everyone go ahead and uh, take up this specific classes and here you will be able to see almost each and everything as we go ahead right so all this particular register you can go ahead and register for the live classes which is completely for free you know and uh, you will be going to learn.krishnakacademy.com just register it over here you'll be able to log in you'll be able to get the dashboard recorded videos live sessions everything will be available in this so this is one amazing thing that i have actually started and how i was able to do it because from the revenue that we are able to earn from udemy right i'm putting that in very good cause wherein we are continuously taking workshops and all these workshops you'll be seeing that every weekend we'll be having this some amazing workshops where you'll be learning multiple things right so i hope you like this particular video uh, this was it for my side go ahead and check out all the courses everything is for 399 rupees this was it for my side i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one and all take care bye, -bye.